In this short video, we'll be exploring the prism carving toolpath strategy. Prism carving gives a raised bevel effect to shapes and letters similar to a hand carved look. Prism carving uses an angle tool to create a raised prism shape on the top of selected vectors. The tool will profile at a given depth, creating a nice sharp finished shape. This strategy is often paired with a profile or pocket toolpath to carve a vertical edge around the shapes or to clear out the material between them. This type of toolpath is often, though not exclusively, used on lettering. The Prism toolpath can be found underneath your toolpath operations section of your toolpath tab. With a closed vector selected, we can start by typing in or entering in our cutting depths. Our start depth is the depth from the top of our material that we'd like our toolpath to start. Our prism depth is the height of our prism. In this case, we use the set depth for full prism feature, which calculates the prism based on the shortest distance between the vectors. In this case, it's 0.2685. If I chose to use a smaller number than that, then I'd probably end up having flat areas on the top of my letter. That may be what you're looking for. And if that's the case, you can put in any number you'd like to. We're going to be using a nine degree V-bit. You can choose your cut direction, either climb or conventional. If you had more than one letter, you could choose the order that the letters should be cut in. We can also use our vector selector to choose certain vectors on certain layers to be cut with this particular tool path. If you'd like more information on that, there'll be a related video below. And we just need to name our tool path and then we can calculate that. We'll preview our visible tool path. And there we have it. 